In the first step of this course, we will create a new Jolo project and then take a look at its folder structure. We will then compare to a typical Ask CLI or Ask SDK project, uh, so to make it easier for you to learn how to migrate your existing projects built with Ask SDK and Ask CLI to Jovo projects built uh, with the Jovo framework and the Jovo CLI. And you can also find a Jovo quick start guide in our docs, which goes into all of this in more detail. But to get started, let's go into the terminal. And you can, um, you can create a new Jovo project by using the Jovo CLI, and we're going to install that now. Um, to do that, type in npm install globally Jovo CLI. And this will install the Jovo CLI, which we will then use to create a new Jovo project based on a Hello World template. Okay, so after this, we can create a new Jovo project uh, with the Jovo new command. And then we need to give it a directory name or a project name, and we will call it quiz game. And this will uh, create a new Jovo project with the Hello World template already install all its npm dependencies um, that we can get started right away. And after this is done, I will walk you through the folder structure of the Jovo project. Okay, so this is done. Let's go into the project with cd for change directory. And then we can open it up in, in our code editor. Okay, so this is how a Jovo project looks like. So we have a models folder, which contains a language model. Um, then we have a source folder, which contains all the logic. And so with this, the app.js, for example, which has the logic in there, which you can see in the handlers, for example. We have a config for some configurations. We'll take a look at this later in a later step. And an index.js file, which we don't need to care about right now because this is just some initial setup and some server hosting stuff. And we have a test folder. We can take a look at this later as well. And the project.js file, which offers some additional project config, um, for example, which platform is going to be used and which natural language understanding tool. And as we're only converting our Alexa skill, uh, we can uh, get rid of the Google Action part uh, for now. And then this also uh, offers an endpoint, which is my Jovo webhook URL, which I'm going to show you more about in a minute. But let's first compare this to a typical Ask SDK project. If we go back to the skill sample uh, Node.js for the quiz game, uh, we can find this folder structure here. So we have a .ask for a config, some data, hooks for the, the Ask CLI. And then we have two interesting things here that are similar to a Jovo project. So we have the models folder, which is the Alexa interaction model. And so this is similar to the Jovo language model, but a little different because the Jovo language model is an abstracted language model, which can then later be translated into an Alexa interaction model or a dialog flow agent, for example. Uh, so for different uh, natural language understanding or NLU services. And, and then we have the, the custom Lambda, uh, the Lambda custom uh, folder, which offers all the apps logic, which you can find here um, in the Ask SDK v2 version. So we have these handlers here. We have the launch request handler. If we take a look, um, this is the same folder as the source folder we have here in Jovo. And this is what the launch in Jovo looks like, for example. And in a later step, we will take a look at all these different intents and how Ask SDK does it with can handle and handle and how Jovo does it with the intent and nested state handlers. But for now, let's, let's just take a look how, how Jovo works here. What I mentioned earlier is that Jovo offers a webhook URL. So uh, typically you need to upload your code to AWS Lambda or a different hosting provider. And then at the endpoint to the Alexa developer console, talk to your device or the simulator on Alexa, and then do the testing, which is quite time consuming. Uh, Jovo offers a webhook URL in the local development server, which makes it easier for you to locally develop, test, and debug your, um, your Alexa skills uh, built with Jovo. And to do that, you can type in Jovo run. 
And so this will, you can find this here as well. So for example, this also um, creates a local file for user specific data. We won't use that for now. And then also it creates a webhook URL that is linked to my local development server here. And we also offer a debugger. So for example, if I now enter the dot here, it opens this debugger, um, which can be used for uh, some simple testing. So I can click on these buttons here, for example, and then it says, hello world, what's your name? If I go back to the code, um, you can find that this is what this hello world intent here is. And then if I answer with my name, Jan, for example, and do that, it says, hey, yeah, nice to meet you. And so this is how you can test the logic. So this isn't real natural language understanding. This is just the debugger is just creating the request JSONs for you that you can easily test um, requests and responses and the logic um, of your voice app. And so this is how you can do like a dry run of your testing. And you can also uh, deploy it to the Alexa developer console. And so we can do this now. And so for this, what we need to do is we need to create the Alexa language model on the Alexa specific files. What you've seen here in, in this project, we have this dot ask folder, for example, those are Alexa specific uh, configurations that we don't have um, in the Java framework because it's a cross-platform framework for, uh, for more than uh, just Alexa. And so this is why uh, we can use the Java CLI and the Java language model to build platform specific files. And so we can do this by using Jovo build. And this will create a platform specific folder um, with the, the Alexa interaction model, with the ask config and all of that. And so if you now take a look at this platforms folder, which was just created, you can find that there's an Alexa skill folder now. And this has the ask config. Here the skill ID is empty and because there is no skill project associated with that code yet. And so after we deploy it, there should be a skill ID. And then after that, it's a new skill project created on the Alexa developer platform. And here we have the Alexa interaction model, which is now in the right format to deploy to Alexa and the skill.json file as well with some basic information and also my webhook URL as an endpoint. And what we can do now is we can now deploy it to the Alexa platform. Okay, what you can see here, this um, deployed the Alexa skill, uh, create a new skill project with this skill ID, for example, with the my test app invocation name and this endpoint. And if we now take a look at the developer console, you can find the quiz game here and everything here. And so this is how it should work now. And so um, if I run the Jovo development server again, I can also test it on my device. Alexa, open my test app. Hello world, what's your name? John. Hey John, nice to meet you. And that's it. Uh, this is how you can deploy your Alexa skill project with the Jovo CLI and also test it locally um, with the local development server and the Jovo debugger. And if we take a look at the Jovo debugger um, again, um, you can find that if we keep the tab open, um, we can still see all the requests coming from the Alexa device. And so here, hello world, what's your name? And then the my name is intent was triggered with the name slot um, John. And so this is how we can have a more visual representation for your testing. Uh, that's it. This is how you can set up your first Jovo project. And in the next step, uh, we're going to create the quiz game uh, language model. And so what you can see here, we have the launch request and we have the my name is intent. And so um, the Jovo debugger takes um, all the 
um, all these buttons here that can be created to easily test the app logic. Um, it takes it from um, our local models folder here from the language model that you can find here. And so the best way to get started for us to make it easier in the next steps to, uh, to, to test the app logic is to first import um, the existing interaction model from quiz game and then convert it into a Java language model so that we can use it in the Java debugger and uh, more easily test um, all of the upcoming steps. Uh, see you in the next step.